and you got brethren that, that are like your older brothers that the same way like what an older brother does. He learns from his dad and he helps he, he pretty much the same way to his younger brother. The first, the first and foremost thing is to serve Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. The second commandment is to be brotherly, you know? Which there's nothing more brotherly than uh, uh, teaching you teaching you the right way. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, yeah, this is uh, Philemon chapter 1, verse 8. Wherefore, though I might be much bold in the Mashiach to enjoin thee that which is convenient, yet for love's sake I rather beseech thee, being such an one as Paul the age, but now also a prisoner of the Awashai Mashiach, I beseech thee for my son, Onesimus, whom I have begotten in my bonds. Whom I have begotten in my bonds, man. Right? He said, my son. And that's that's super spiritual, man. He's not talking about his actual son, like his seed. He's talking about his spiritual son, man. He said, whom I have begotten in my bonds. Not whom I have begotten out of my loins. So that's how you know it was referring to him being a spiritual son. Okay, you got more on that if you know what this. This Ecclesiasticus 44 and 1. Let us now, let us now, praise famous men and our fathers that beget us. The Lord hath brought great glory by them through His great power from the beginning. Such as did bear rule in their kingdoms, men renowned for their power, giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies. Leaders of the people, by their counsels and by their knowledge of learning, meet for the people wise and eloquent in their instructions. Yeah, man. So that's that, that, that's the, the main thing, man, is by their wisdom and the knowledge that they have, all right? That's what makes them great, man, all right? The spirit of the Lord that rest, that, that's resting upon them, the spirit of truth, that spirit of wisdom and knowledge, that's what makes you, that's what makes you a great man, all right? A great king is a wise king, and wisdom is what, man? I just figured it out. No, understanding the, the law, statutes, and commandments, all right? Understanding the knowledge of the Bible, that's wisdom. That's true wisdom. You can understand You can understand how to build a skyscraper. You can know how to build a, a car uh, to put together a computer from scratch. You could be like Elon Musk and fucking know how to just build build shit out of nothing, you know? Build robots and shit that can pour, pour wine for you. But none of that means anything if you don't understand the basics of life, man. Which the basics of life all goes back to the scriptures, man. The simplicity that's in, that's in Yahweh Shai, man. Uh, this is the book of life. This is the book of life. If you don't understand this, you really don't understand anything. If you don't understand that you ain't shit, man. If you, are, if you don't understand that you're just a vessel that the Lord uses and manipulates, you don't fucking know anything, man. You think you have your own life, you have free will, you don't know anything. You're, you're an idiot, man. Okay, yeah, going back to wisdom, all right, I don't know if you have anything else. You want to go to this? Yeah, this one. This is wisdom, uh, Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. That wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of your times because all these things are going to come down and these people aren't going to know what's going on. They ain't gonna know how to keep themselves. They ain't gonna know how to carry themselves when great tribulation comes. They, they, look, the majority of the population will immediately go to Egypt for help. The majority of the population are immediately gonna run to the microchip when the economy collapses, man. Only a few people are gonna abstain from that, you know? And that's where that's where the Lord, that's where the angels are gonna be sifting and weeding people out. They're just like, that's, that's, that's super sifting season. Is when the when, when the Lord brings judgment upon the earth, that's when people are just gonna be getting deleted, delete, 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 delete. With the rips. It says Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yeah, the fear of the Lord is our treasure. Why? Because the fear of the Lord is gonna keep you from, from going off in the time of trouble, man. The fear of the Lord is going to keep you from wanting to take that microchip. 
Are right, you are you gonna be fucking? You might be hungry. You haven't eaten for like three, four days. You're just like, oh. And somebody says, hey, hey, let's go get the chips so we can eat. You gonna be like, hell no, nah, motherfucker, because I know what's gonna happen if I do that. He, he's gonna be like, whatever, man. And in that time, you ain't even gonna tell. You ain't even. Gonna, you ain't even gonna worry about. It. You just be like, whatever. Go, go do you then. You know, but it says, uh, let us therefore praise famous men, our fathers that beget us. And because what? The wisdom that they're preaching unto us, men. You know, to praise somebody, if you look up a synonym of praise, it means to worship them. So, you know, by you praising them, by saying, oh, yeah, 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 these men are great men, that in itself is worship. So, do we worship men? In a sense, we do. Okay? But we do worship men because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are men. It says the Lord is a man of war. So yeah, we do worship men, okay? Yeah, man. I mean, obviously, if it says the Lord is a man of war, Yahweh is his name. Well, it's funny, because they actually... So it tells you that he's a man, all right? So that's, it tells you that he has a physical characteristic. It tells you what his color is, what he looks like. So he's a physical being. You know what I mean? He's a living, he's the living God spiritual being, you know, but he has a physical appearance. Yeah, he has a physical appearance, man. He's a, li he's a living being, man. You know what I mean? So, he, hey, he, there's a reason why it tells you that the Word was made flesh. There's a reason that he came in the flesh. There's a reason for everything. The Lord is not the author of confusion. This ain't just a book of madness, you know? This, uh, this, this, this book makes the most sense in the world. But with that, Lord willing, it's the head of fine camp. We're gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Haruchakodash. Double honors to our elders and our apostles at Great Millstone, the true rulers of Israel right now. And salutations, peace, love, and blessing to the hopeful elect. All right, death and destruction to America. Death, to America. death and destruction to the so-called white man. Death to Edomites. Shalom.